All right, everybody, welcome back. We're going to do a few videos on some shelters, different shelters. You can build them many different ways, but the one that'd be the most common and more feasible in a survival situation would be the debris hut. Uh, simple triangle shelter style. Uh, only bad part is I wouldn't recommend using this in an area where there's creepy crawlies all over the ground unless she's in dire strait in an immediate survival situation. This shelter can be used with little or no tools. Um, can be put together pretty quick, pretty easy. Um, you know, for an immediate survival situation, I would recommend this one. It's a debris hut. First thing we're gonna do is clear out an area in the ground here. Once you got your level or your area somewhat cleaned out, um, ready to go. Next thing you're gonna have to do, you're gonna have to figure out the size of your shelter. The best way to do this, be take, lay on the ground, but extend your arms above your head and mark that like that. Next thing you're going to, because you're going to roll over at night, and toss, turn, stuff like that, especially if it's cold. So you're going to want to mark your size down. Just like that. Then for your length of this, you want, you're going to want to be into the shelter. So once you got that marked, you have plenty of room there. So mark your feet, make sure that you're at the end where you want to be. Once you've got your measurements figured out for your shelter, uh, you're going to be doing a lot of work in here. So you don't want to have to keep relaying down and remeasure and all that stuff all the time. So what you're going to do is you're just going to take some simple sticks. And you're just going to make little markers wherever you put your marks at. Where your hand marks and all that was. Just mark it out. Just like that. That's your outline. All right. Now, now your next thing I want to do is I just find me two sticks with Y's in them, just like these right here. I'm going to get two of these. And uh, when you sit down, I like them to be at least even with my head or a little taller than my head because what's going to happen is you're going to crawl in and out of this shelter because you don't want a lot of height. You want to keep as much space between or at least distance between you and the top because you're going, it's kind of an insulated shelter, so maybe you'll just want to go slightly bigger than you because you're going to crawl in and out of here. So two of these. All right, so now that I've got my two sticks here, what I want to do is kind of place one in the ground where my arm length would have been out. Just kind of shove that down in there a little bit. And do the same for the other side. Once I got this set up, okay, now I need a ridge pole. My ridge pole is going to come from in here. This is why I use Y sticks because that you, you can make the little triangle here. And to me, that seems to hold a lot better. So I got my triangle here. Okay. So now I'm going to come back. I need a ridge pole to go from that point to where my longest point was when I reached above my head and made my mark. So I need a ridge pole to go from there to here. So I'm going to collect that real quick. So now I've got me a good ridge pole here. Um, this thing, what you're gonna find out when you do this right here is that from the length, from your end to above where you mark with your hands, if you crawl in there at this point, this thing's gonna be right in your face. So you can do one of two things. You can go with a longer pole, but based on the resources that was around me, I, there's no longer pole I could use. So at this point here, I'm just gonna stick another Y in there, not quite as high as that, but I'm going to put a Y in here to raise this so it's not laying right against my face at night. So what, once I got my Y, I'm just going to shove that right down in here. And I'm going to kind of secure my points where they'll interlock like so. All right, there's my basic outlay. All right, once you get it set like it so you want to get in this, make sure before you go through all the effort of putting this together that you got plenty of room for your body to be in here. You, you know, plenty of room that you can move and stuff. So that's, so after I got my frame set up, okay, 
and we've done decided we've got plenty of room in there where we're not going to be smashed in and we got plenty of room to get our whole body in there i'm gonna, you're just going to run around pick up whatever you can or cut it down whatever you got to do but you're going to want to make a frame like this when you're breaking stuff off like this put this on the side because uh, that's going to come in use for you so break all that stuff off and put it on the side right at this point this is what you got a little frame like that right there now you can see by the breakage on there we've not used one tool not the first one these are simple shelters down and dirty survival right here down and dirty survival shelter See that on both sides next thing we're going to do is all these little stuff that we broke off of these so you're just going to come in and you're going to start weaving them in and out in and out of your sticks you know you're just going what you're going to do is just fill every void in here that you can possibly fill uh to hold the debris okay at that point that's what we got now I'll get back in here and I'll show you this unless you're right up on that that's why this would make a good escape and evade shelter unless you're right up on this I mean that's not going to stick out like a sore thumb in the middle of the woods you're really going to have to be somewhat closer to this to figure out that that's you know, man-made and not something natural so next thing I want to do for this is I'm going to make me a door, somewhat of a door or some, something. And then uh, I'm going to fill the inside of that. It's going to have to be filled with debris for insulation for your body so you're not right on the ground. Now you can use leaves, grass, cedar boughs, pine boughs, something. Something just to keep you off the ground and something you can wrap around you. Okay, now I've got it packed full for my door tonight i think i'm just gonna pile up a bunch of debris right here and uh kind of just drag it in on me and uh that's pretty much about all there is to that simple shelter blends in it's great for about anything really but uh there's still one more part to this after i uh get everything together here for my doorway my debris there's still one more part to this that a lot of people leave out and uh, we're going to get to that in just a second. Now that it's all said and done here, uh, the part that a lot of people leave out on this is this is all debris. Good wind can take your debris down. Good rain can beat you down. The whole nine yards. I mean, so you want to make sure that any job you do is worth well doing. So you want to make sure that you put stuff on here to weight your debris down. Just something like that kind of to hold your stuff down. Like I said, any job worth doing is worth doing well. So the more preparation you have for anything that might occur on you that night, it all, it all depends on your time. But you definitely want to do this part. Do not skip this because you may wake up and it be windy and you're without nothing. So all your work went down in vain. So just like that. All right, now it's all done. I think next thing I'm gonna to wanna to do is I'm just gonna work my way back into my shelter. Just take the time getting in there. Into the big old nest you just made. Start bringing your debris up to you. You know, as simple as that. Well, you know, that's that's the way we do our debris huts. Like I said, this is, if I had to choose one shelter and I only had a limited time, I'm going to pick this one. This will keep you alive. It'll keep you warm. can keep you dry. But, uh, keep this in mind. Practice these shelters. Um, take your time on them. Make them right. If it's your life, it could be at hand. Or somebody else's. Uh, if you like our videos, like, share, comment, subscribe. Check us out on Facebook, Mickey Wilson Bushcraft and Survival. Until the next one.
That's it for this 